What is Power BI? It's no question that Power BI is a popular tool. With a user base that includes tens of thousands of different companies, it's obviously used for something. But what exactly is it used for? And what exactly can you do with it? In today's video, we're gonna go over what Power BI is and what it's used for. Let's dive in. Power BI is Microsoft's self-service business intelligence reporting tool. You use it to take your data, transform it, and create insights. It's essentially used in two ways. One is developing reports, which is taking the data and creating the analytics. And number two is using reports, which is taking those reports as a business leader to inform decision making. In a little bit, I'm gonna share about all the different ways that you can share reports within your organization using the Power BI service platform. But first, let's talk about developing reports. The development of reports is primarily done through the Power BI desktop platform. This is a downloadable application available through Windows. For Mac users, you can't directly install Power BI desktop, but there are some legitimate external applications that you can download to run Power BI on your Mac. I'll have a video linked in the description that I made on how to do this. Once you have Power BI Desktop installed, you can begin connecting your data to start creating reports. Power BI can connect to a ton of different data sources, including Excel, Snowflake, SQL databases, cloud services, even APIs. You can connect the data from just about anywhere. Once your data is connected, Power BI uses Power Query to manipulate and transform your data. Power Query is built into the Power BI platform, so it's easy to use. Power BI is also native to Excel, so if you're an Excel user, the transition should be pretty easy. Beyond that, you can start to model your data. You can do this by connecting tables, creating tables, creating custom measures, as well as hiding fields from the report view. There's a lot you can do with the modeling features alone in Power BI, so I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but it is something that's very easy for a lot of users to miss. So I definitely encourage taking some time to really get to know this feature. After data is connected, cleaned, and modeled, you can start creating reports. This is what most people think of when they typically think of Power BI. This is where you can create all sorts of visuals for your analysis and start to put together some awesome reporting. It's very easy to put together visuals, it just takes a few clicks, and there's a lot you can do to enhance the look and feel customizing visuals as well. Power BI sorts a lot of different visuals natively, but there are even more available as downloadable custom visuals made by other users or companies. You can also create custom measures from the reporting view using DAX. DAX stands for Data Analysis Expressions and is the formula expression language of Power BI. This allows you to create measures with a greater level of detail or create fields that aren't present in your database currently. Once your report is finished, you can publish it to the cloud for your organization. I also want to note that while Power BI is free for personal use, you will, at the organizational level, need users to have a pro license to share within your organization. I won't get into the details here, but a common misconception I often hear from users new to Power BI is that it's completely free. Again, it is free to download and publish to your personal workspace, but you do need a pro license to share at the organizational level. Speaking of workspaces, let's talk about the Power BI service. The Power BI service is where users can go to view reports. You can create workspaces. This is where you can publish your data and your reports to. You can also manage access that users have to workspaces. Within workspaces, you can also create apps, which essentially give you more control over what you allow your users to see. From apps and reports, you can also save visuals to a personal view, which is what Power BI calls a dashboard. This is different language than what some other tools refer to as a dashboard, which is what Power BI just calls a report. Report. Published reports can be shared in many different ways. You can embed them to a PowerPoint or a website. You can connect them to Microsoft Teams, to Excel. You can also set up reports to have a mobile view, which are customized for mobile if that's something you're looking for. Power BI reports can also be set up for automatic refreshes from the Power BI service. This is a great way to control how regularly you want your reports to be updated. With so many sharing capabilities, security within an organization is important. Power BI I can define who has access and to what. This is especially helpful for large organizations with sensitive data in a lot of different departments. It's worth noting too that Power BI Desktop is updated monthly, so there's always new features and updates being added to the tool. Lastly, let's talk about next steps. Where can you go 
if you're interested in learning more about how to use and implement Power BI. Microsoft actually has a ton of learning modules, which are actually pretty helpful. They're text-based courses, so no video, but many of them actually have built-in labs, which are really helpful. Before I ever dived into Microsoft's modules that they offer for learning, I didn't think they were gonna be really good, but they actually are very helpful and go really deep into the tool. I'll put a link to these in the description below. I'll also link one of my favorite Power BI courses on Udemy taught by Maven Analytics. I definitely recommend this one for users who want to know how to use Power BI for report development. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was a helpful overview of what Power BI is and what it's used for. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.